changing the conversation in your industry is never easy work, right? So um, it takes a lot of emotional resilience. You have to do the research. You have to do the do the work to really like unearth that unique and and relevant idea. And so that's just true in normal times, but especially now where we are with the pandemic, it kind of feels like we went back to the beginning and it's at least in Texas and it's feeling, you know, there's all this resistance and inertia that is like piled on top of the work that we're trying to do as thought leaders, whether your idea is in the beginning stages or you have a pretty solid idea, but you're having to shift gears because the, the context and how you described your work is out the window right now in terms of like what's going on with with COVID and all this extra effort, both like doing the work as well as emotionally, um, it's really gonna test your why to see, you know, am I really committed to this? Do I really wanna do this work in service to my audience? Did I think I was doing this work in service to my audience, but I'm really realizing, oh, maybe, maybe I'm not as committed to this as I thought I was because what's being required is so much more than it used to be. And, and even when things, um, I don't think they're gonna return to normal, but even even when we get back to doing events and things in, in person, I think the bar is going to be raised in terms of um, what's required to change the conversation and the quality and the caliber and the relevance of your your message, all of that's that th those bars are going to be higher and remain higher, I believe, and into perpetuity. And so again, it comes back to that why to say, um, is my why as strong as it as it needs to be? You know, am I am I committed to changing the conversation, knowing now that it's going to be a lot harder than it used to be?